Hi to all, welcome to Chimmy Familiar channel. Today we are doing review of AMD uh, FX 8300 processor. Uh, I hope you are going to like it. Uh, this is my home computer. I bought this processor a couple of days ago. Uh, price on the, in the store is around 120 euros. So it's for me best buy processor at the moment because uh, it's so almost the same as i5-4690 uh, processor that is twice as much, uh, that cost twice as much. Uh, as you see, I overclocked this processor to 4.7 GHz, core voltage of uh, 1.45. Um, uh, this processor uses max TDP of 95 watts. Uh, I use it on a Gigabyte motherboard. Board. This motherboard is around 85 euros and it's uh, one of the best motherboards in that class because it has 8 pl plus 2 phase. So uh, I prepared for today a couple of test programs to show you uh, how good this processor is. Um, uh, we're gonna see uh, a lot uh, worse, um, <laughs> not so good results uh, as uh, when I'm not filming because uh, Bandicam is lowering my results by 10-15%. Uh, first of all we're gonna use this program for rendering to see uh, how good is for rendering and what time it takes. Uh, last time I, uh, I used it without Bandicam I got 738 score. Today I will going to get around 600 as you see here. So let's start uh, test and see how it's going to behave. We're gonna watch temperatures. Uh, you should uh, watch temperatures on AMD's, AMD's processors, uh, they shouldn't go uh, past f uh, 62 degrees. Okay. I might... okay. 53, that's... Uh, everything is okay. 64, uh, 62 is the max temperature you should go on AMD's processors. I must say in my in my country currently is around 40 degrees so that's why I have so high temperatures I'm using uh, one of the best uh, all-in-one liquid coolers uh, Cooler Master 240M so the temperatures are a lot better than on a stock cooler on a stock cooler you couldn't uh, even overclock before this cooler I was using Cooler Master 212 plus uh, and you see uh, the max temperature on rendering was 55.4 and the ambient temperature was a lot uh, 35 degrees in my room I got 60, uh, 617 uh, so I, uh, like I said the Bandicam is lowering my score when I'm not uh, shooting uh, videos, their uh, score is around 733. Uh, the program you should also use is AMD Overdrive. Uh, as you see, it, here is thermal mar margin. Uh, you shouldn't uh, let uh, your CPU uh, pass under the 15 degrees. After that, uh, after that, uh, it will start to throttle. So you don't want to pass under 15 degrees, 10, 15 degrees at the most. Uh, as you see, for now it's on around 35, 36. So the next program we're going to use is a uh, performance test. Uh, this test is long, so uh, s this test is long, so I will fast forward it till the end to see uh, see the results. Uh, last time I tested it was around 10,000 but uh, like I said because of the bandy cam and uh, filming the video is going to be around 8,000 8, so we're gonna start test uh, please stay till the end I will go into fast forward this video so you don't have to watch uh, all testing okay okay for now is the test wa uh, has started uh, okay now I'm going to fast forward the video from this from this end
So welcome back, the test is done, as you see the score is 3089, uh, so like I said the score is uh, a lot less than when I'm not using the Bandicam, when I'm, uh, when I'm not using the Bandicam is around 3500, 3, so like I said, uh, CPU mark, uh, as you see, uh, I'm the, the this uh, processor 8300, uh, 8300 uh, scored uh, 9030, uh, almost, almost uh, as, as the and even better than Intel i7 3720, and a lot better than Intel i7 920. Uh, my last processor was AMD 955. Uh, the difference is 56% uh, between these two processors. So, uh, by my humble opinion, uh, is it worth it? Uh, yes, I think this processor is the uh, ultimate bang for the bucks because it's only cost uh, it only cost uh, 120 euros. Uh, and you get performances uh, same as uh, i5 and similar to, similar to i7. Uh, these uh, these tests are when I'm using the Bandicam. If you're interested, I could pu put in comments screenshots of tests when I'm not using the Bandicam. They would be a lot better, al almost 20% better. Uh, so uh, this processor is great for rendering, uh, great for gaming, uh, for rendering is uh, uh, better than i5, for gaming is a bit a bit worse, 5 to 10 percent in uh, FPS, but you won't even notice in the games. I'm playing with this uh, with this uh, processor, playing uh, GTA 5, playing Dying Light without without no problem. Uh, my only problem is bad graphic card, uh, so the FPS would be a lot better if I would use a better graphic card. Uh, so uh, this concludes this testing. Uh, this is the 8300. Uh, pro uh, CPU from AMD uh, for me one of the best uh, CPUs out there today uh, d uh, if, is it uh, worth of buying? Yes, definitely, because the cost uh, cost of uh, CPU is low, and you can overclock it uh, with decent uh, decent cooling, uh, e even to five gigahertz. Uh, like you s uh, like you see, I overclock it to four point seven. I have decent uh, all-in-one liquid cooling uh, with uh, custom water cooling. You can clock it uh, definitely to five gigahertz. Uh, uh, like I said, if you need a processor, if you have a limited budget, definitely go to uh, to buy this processor. It's a lot, uh, lot. It costs a lot less than H350, his older brother, and it's definitely, definitely best buy processor for me at this moment on the market. Uh, thank you for watching this video on the Chimi Familia channel. Uh, there will be a lot more videos to come in the future. Uh, subscribe to this video and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, bye bye guys.